Hey everybody, this is Tony Crane, the Aspie Dad. I'm going to come to you today with a little tip about teaching your kids multiplication. I know a lot of the kids out there have problems with this. Um, we have two sons, one's 16, and he's on the autism spectrum. And then we have a 10-year-old who has a, uh, a thyroid disorder and some growth hormone abilities and things. They give him a, some challenges with this as well. Gives him some real challenges with memory. But one of the biggest things in math, multiplication, can be really hard for kids. So this is pretty much applicable to anybody you want to use it for. Um, so back when we were kids, or when I was a kid, I'm 50 years old now, but when I was a kid, we learned the times tables. And they looked something like this here. Uh, if you had 1 through 12 on the left, and you had 1 through 12 across the top. And each time you wanted to multiply a number, you'd simply look on your left and you'd say 6 times 2 equals 12. And we would do this throughout, and we would try to remember all these numbers and use them when we did math. And this seems really burdensome and make, makes it look like this is really hard. But I'm going to show you today why it's not. So we're going to start eliminating some of this stuff so we can teach you why if your kids learn about 40 numbers in here real easy, they will know how to do multiplication for the rest of their lives. Okay? So the first thing is the one times table. right? So instead of having a times table for the ones, we're going to replace that with a simple rule that anything times one, any number times one, is that number. So that's all we need to teach our kids. One times any number, whether it's one times two or one times a billion, is two or a billion. There's no challenge here. So if you can teach your kid just that rule, you can forget about the one times table. So we can knock that out and take it right off here right now, okay? And the same, of course, goes for the one times table as it goes across this way. So we can just delete that right off the table. Now, moving on from there, I want to explain something about a really hard part of the times table, and that's the 12 times table. Now, we, I learned that in school, and other people have learned it over the years in school, because at some point it was important. Things came in packages of 12. A gross was 144. But today, we don't order things that way anymore. You can order one shirt on Amazon, or you can order 100 shirts on Amazon. There's no quantity limits, shipping is easier, everything's easier. So we don't have really any purpose in today's society for the 12 times table. And again, that just allows us to get rid of that 12 times table. So we can eliminate the 12 on this side, and we can eliminate the 12 down here. Now, in addition to that, we then can move on to the 11 times table. Now, the 11 times table, again, is a whole group of numbers, a whole group of calculations, that we can eliminate with one simple rule. Any number times that 11 is that number twice. So 2 times 11 is 22. 3 times 11 is 33. This isn't hard. This is easy. So the rule is, if you see something that's multiplied by 11, you just write that number twice, and we can get rid of, again, the entire 11 times table. And we did this one kind of early. We got rid of the 10 times table down here. But I think it's pretty clear how we can eliminate the 10 times table. The 10 times table is simply the number 2 times 10. So it's 2 with a 0 after it. 3 times 10 is 3 with a 0 after it. All the way through all the times tables, even if you go to 10 times 10, it's simply just 10 with another 0 after it. So we can, again, pretty much eliminate this by teaching our children one simple rule. Anything times 10 is that number with an extra 0. So that all that leaves us here is 2 through 9 in each direction. So we've got all these numbers that you would think, oh boy, we have to learn all this still, right? But we're going to make this even easier. If you look at the 9 times table, we're going to be able to eliminate that, but we're not going to do it yet. We're going to give you a great rule for handling the 9 times table, but it takes one extra step, so I'm going to leave that for last, okay? So what I will tell you, though, is that if you look carefully at the all, any times table chart, you'll see that every number is duplicated. 10, 12, 12, 14, 14, 8, 16, 16, 18, 18. That's because when you multiply a 2 by a 4, it doesn't matter if the 2 comes first or the 4 comes first. So if you can teach your child just to remember this rule, which is that 2 times 4 is the same as 4 times 2, in other words, any time you multiply, you can flip the numbers either way and get the same answer. Then we can eliminate all of this row. 
We can delete all of this row here. We can eliminate this row here. We can eliminate this row here because again, it's still double all the way down. Okay, we can eliminate this here. As you can see, there's 42 twice here. So we eliminate that row there. Again, here we have eight times seven and seven times eight. So we can eliminate these last two numbers here and we can eliminate the 72 there. Because that, again, nine times eight is the same as eight times nine. Great, so now that leaves us with just these numbers to remember. And now I'm gonna go on and just show you the rule on the nine times table. As you can see, the numbers in the nine times table work in a pattern, 18, 27, 36. So the first number, each step goes up one, and the second number goes down one. So we're gonna put this up on the screen for you so you can see it, but what it is, is if you take any number times nine, the answer is that number minus one, and then that number taken away from 10. So let me show you what I mean by that. So two times nine is two minus one, one, two taken away from 10 equals eight. Three is three minus one, two, and then three taken away from 10, seven. And this works all the way across till you get to nine times nine, which is nine minus one, eight, nine taken away from 10 is one. So again, if we just learn that rule, and this is probably the hardest rule of all that we need to learn, we can eliminate this entire row of nine times table numbers. So now all we have left is the numbers that are on the screen. And that big intimidating chart of numbers that was here that you thought you had to memorize in order to do math is gone. All that's left are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 13, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 numbers. And if your child can memorize those 28 multiplications and these four or five rules that I just gave you, they'll be able to do any multiplication problem that they're given. The trick now is how do we get them to memorize all those numbers? Next video, I'm gonna show you an app for your phone called Flashcards, Math Flashcards. I'm gonna show you exactly where to get it on the App Store and exactly how to set it up so that your child will easily learn a chunk of these numbers at a time and over the course of about a month, two months, depending on their age, depending on how long it takes, they will be able to answer all of these questions depending on their ability and how long it takes. But they really will be able to figure out every one of these questions, have them all memorized, and then be able to do all this math going forward. So I thank you for watching the video. I hope this is helpful to people out there. And if you have any questions, you can email me at Tony Crane, T-O-N-Y-C-R-A-N-E-S-R, like senior, Tony Crane Senior at gmail.com. You can certainly post any questions or whatever you may have here uh, and or look us up anytime you want, okay? Look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you.